So my phone had to be the one that can't have a 400% charge, right? Right? I mean, is it because it's like uh, when I'm in the uh, podcast or podcast movement, people use their phones and I, I'm not allowed to have a full charge and I'm only in a house? Is that the reason why? I mean, I'm, I'm doing everything that I can. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in the wall. I'm putting it in a different socket. I'm putting I'm cleaning the phone, but it still don't want me to have a fully charged phone. By the way, ain't of the way, welcome to Big D Country. Either that or my phone is on my last night. I'm getting me a new phone after I pay the rent. Because this is this is absolutely ridiculous. It might somewhat stop me from going to church on other parts in October, but I'm planning on somewhat uh, going to Cultural Community Church on October 1st at least. But I got to go to Cricket to get me another phone. I mean, this is absolutely astonishing that it, that it just keeps doing it. I mean, first, this only happened uh, uh, a few times in uh, the Houston. And then it happened a lot that uh, when I was at podcast moment. And now I'm just I'm just in the house, and it keeps happening. I'm just in the house. It always goes down to 99, and I always catch it. I need a fully charged phone. I mean, come on. I need a fully charged phone. I mean, this is ridiculous. I, I always clean the phone up, like, all day. I'm always cleaning the phone. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely giving me a headache. And I'm tired of it. I had other rants and other news to give, and I'm tired of it. Like, especially Monopoly Go. When I time that uh, there was a community chest, I tried to get this rant before on YouTube, but it wouldn't play. It wouldn't go up. Uh, I only did that for the podcast, and sorry about that. But I had a community chest one time. And oh yeah, I finally got out of 47, finally making it to 48. I was in 47 for almost seemed like forever. Ugh. But anyway, I'm not allowed to have a fully charged phone. Come on now. But then, like later on during the night, oh, the hunter finally pops up. I just want to keep charging slowly. I couldn't get an instant uh, uh, charging uh, rapidly. It only got me charges slowly. Really? Really? Uh, and the Secretary of Interior, uh, Zach, had uh, brought me a new story that is not good. Because, as you know, I've been using Twitter, or aka X now, that is called, for a while. And I got a story that is going to be a doozy. Uh, but anyway, so since I already did week three of the NFL pickup, I'm not going to be doing the uh, three, four until Monday or Tuesday. If I can have a fully tied phone when I do the uh, when I do the program, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm not. I'm the one that can't have a fully tied damn phone. Really, really, I'm cleaning in and everything like that, moving to different places. Uh, moving, moving, even moving, even moving to a wall charger. I'm even moving it to a. De- That's why I can't even take the phone with me when I go downstairs to the kitchen and, and make my food and whatever like that. No, because the phone don't even want to give to stay a full charge. This is exactly why. I mean, come on. Why do I have to suffer to that? Why me? Why does that have to be me? And I'm only in the house. I can see if I'm going out somewhere like the doctors or anything, which I didn't. Yeah, I can see if I'm going out to the doctors or anywhere, or Walmart, or even the beach. I'm not even outside anywhere. I don't even take the phone in the balcony. This is ridiculous. This is why I got to get me another phone. I got to get me another phone. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Ugh. Can it at least wait, if it want to die on me, can it at least wait till, like, the day I get my money and then, then it could die on me? But at least wait until I get to the cricket store. Well, I do have, uh, I do have to wait because I do have lift on the other phone. But I don't like the fact that you can't even type uh, fastly. I, you know, I don't even want to use that phone. Okay. But this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. My phone can't keep a, a good charge. It's supposed to be a hundred. I clean it every day, every day, every day. Unbelievable. Not right at all. 
man. Anyway, all right. So yeah, so let's get to the the point at hand and what I was really uh, uh really wanted to talk about is oh yeah, but before I did that, I had a really one of my weird dreams is I went to a graduation. I don't know if it was high school or college, but uh, there was wearing green captain gown, and everybody had fan. And so I guess imagine it was a hot day, and I guess they, well, it was inside, but I guess the auditorium didn't have an air conditioner, so everybody was uh, everybody was fanning themselves. Then during the graduation, the uh, the uh, the uh, the whole graduation was treated by performance while by a celebrity. I don't know who it was, but I, I knew the song. I kept thinking about the only damn song that I kept dreaming about and uh, keep hearing in my head was Margaritaville. You know the song by uh Warren Buffett who uh passed away. I kept hearing Margaritaville. You know like da 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 Margaritaville. Da 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 da. Yeah, that's all. The, that's the only thing I heard for part of the dream. Then, the weirdest thing. I think that I went back to work at Disney World, but I gave I was given a much better job and the rules were better. They had no dating rules, no crazy dating rules, and I went back to work at Disney World for some reason. And then, but the weirdest part of the dream, the weirdest part of the dream, they had announced that they was closing Magic Kingdom Park, the family, uh, the famous Magic Kingdom. Yeah. That's what I, that's what that's what was on the dream. It's like, what in the world are they doing? Closing the famous Magic Kingdom, you know, the park with Cinderella Castle and everything like that. What are they doing? What are they doing? And so during our past, we went to uh, Magic Kingdom Park, and again, they had a concert with a celebrity, and uh, so went to the concert, and you know, it was well, the show was very good. The show was very good. Yeah, so as much as it's not, not more than a nightmare, it was just uh, one of those weird dreams that, uh, I guess it was one of those entertaining type type dreams, so. But, wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, so I heard Margaritaville in a dream and then went to a graduation and then worked at Disney, but then they said that they uh, closed, uh, they was closing Magic Mountain. Why? I know, maybe because of lack of not logic. I don't know. Uh, also, Domino Pizza. For many times, I try to call. I try to do your fastest, uh, fastest responder contest, uh, for free pizza for a year. Yeah, they was uh, doing a segment, this promotion for Domino Pizza, a free pie for a year. But you have to be the fastest to uh, to uh to come in. But first, you have to register to do the contest, which I did. Then I had to get points for time, uh, uh, you know, for a heads up of time to let them know, hey, the contest is going to be uh, uh, on and popping at this, such and such a time. So I made sure when 10.30 came up and I and I knew that I got the test. And sure enough, I was looking for an email, but it came in a test. And then when I got into the, uh, you know, the link, Somebody already claimed the free pizza already. It would have been a big help because the government about to be doing the government shutdown. Nine days, yeah, nine days. Uh, and if they, I remind you, I get food stamps, and if they go, they they have a shutdown if it still happens. Uh, Cause a lot of people are saying that they could have a shutdown. A lot of people are saying uh, some people are having still behind their back. But remember, these still still have to be voted on. They had a vote the other night where it was still wind up being rejected. So they had a vote and it still wind up being rejected. So if they go to do have the shutdown and I don't get the food, and then if if I still don't get my um blind pension from Missouri. And, uh, I don't know when they had the last payment, but I'm gonna be in a I'm gonna be in a vine. I'm gonna be in a fucking vine. I mean, this is ridiculous. And then it's still hot. We are days away from fall. Matter of fact, fall start tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow at this time of recording, uh, aka Saturday. Uh, the t- yeah Saturday the uh, yeah small talk Saturday. Uh, believe it or not. 
But no, it's still going to be in the 90s. I mean, there's going to be rain chances on Sunday, beginning of Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I think it is. I believe it is what I saw. But it's still going to be in the low 90s. I mean, this is ridiculous. I even I even almost fell into a consciousness yesterday after I had my food from food stamps. Possibly could be my last one if they go into the shutdown in ID. The government must be funded by a, by a, I think it's September 30th or September 31st, and, and because October 1st start the fiscal year, well, of the government, start the fiscal year of the U.S. government. And then that don't happen, it's a partial government shutdown. And like I said before, government shutdown is a lot different than uh, back at the time when we had the uh, death ceiling uh, fiasco. Yeah. I called it a fiasco because I almost nearly had a heart attack. That's right. I almost nearly had a heart attack. I hate watching this charger thing. Because I'm not, I'm not allowed to have a fully charged phone. Ugh. This is ridiculous. I'm not allowed to have a fully charged phone. I gotta give me a new phone after I pay my rent. Ew. And Monopoly Go. Back to Monopoly Go. How come you get stingy on roads? I thought I worked all up to get all the roads that uh even from gifts or or um landing on certain stuff. And then I only used a few roads, and then it just, whoop, take it on me, just like that time I was robbed right in the middle when I was playing, and I was trying to get back, uh, when I was trying to get out of a land. I almost would have been out of a land, because I had, like, 40 or 50 uh, million dollars or something like that. Ugh, this is ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Insane. But anyway, um... I have a special uh, late birthday announcement. Uh, well, because that's because I wasn't recording anything yesterday. But uh, yesterday and then the day before, because uh, uh, the uh, met, uh, my other birthday recipient is from another country, uh, both yesterday and the day before was uh, the Madam President Carla's birthday, which was... Uh, Technically, Thursday morning in Australia, Wednesday night, um, Wednesday night here, you know, on the other side of the world. And no, it's not. And no, the world is not flat, you jackasses. The one that said the world is flat. It's not flat. It's round. Anyway, uh, so her birthday was Thursday, and I think I was able to sing happy birthday to her on GFP the other day because, again... Nick is going to go somewhere, and that because he go more places than me. I only go to my conferences, but he go to more places than me and, and anybody else in this whole, uh, whole day gone group. So they're not going to play games tonight. They're not gonna, possibly not going to play games that day. And then every time he come back, every time he come back, it always gets low players. Every time he come back. Every time. I don't even know why. I mean, this is absolutely insane. Why? Why? Why does every time either a short fake, uh, short, uh, even if it's to do something in another state or to help, uh, to help a, a family member, and then every time we come back, it's always no player. And then I have to be less twiddling my thumb, even on a, on a hot day. Why? Why? Uh, DTA for Sunday. DTA. Anyway. Oh, come on. I mean, really? Really? I mean, I don't go to PodFest until January if if the virus don't close Florida or if it don't close the plane. Yeah, my plane is always full every time I go. So I've been and I, I've been and I see no mass mandate back, back on plane. Can't breathe in those damn things. Can't even see. I can't even hardly hear. Anyway, <sighs> all right. Uh, so let me get to what I wanted to share with you. But you know what? Let me first get to the story about uh, uh, what uh, interior of Big D country, uh, the Secretary of Interior of Big D country, Zach has given me, and put up on my attention. Uh, this is from Forbes magazine. It was brought to my attention yesterday. Uh, Elon Musk says he might put X Twitter behind a paywall. Really? 
Will he? But he has a lot of money. He has a lot of money. He's a billionaire. Uh, he's a, I think it's like uh, SpaceX or something like that. He's already, he, uh, he already had like a lot of rockets that went into space. He even had uh, brought astronaut that goes up into space as well. I saw a couple of the launches. He's already a wealthy person. Come on. Keep the freedom free. Keep the freedom free. Okay, this is, uh, well, I guess it's great. The top line, uh, Elon Musk, who purchased Twitter last year before sequestrally uh, revamping it, X, said yeah, that the company is moving towards having a small monthly payment for use of the X system. And this is the entire X system that used to be free. Uh, and to an order and an effort to keep uh, bots off the platform, a statement that uh, comes after month has uh, slowly p- uh, put more X uh, features behind payment. So they already have Twitter Blue, and Twitter Blue is that you either pay for a month and or you pay for for a year, and to, uh, that that's Twitter Blue. But I don't. I don't do that because I already have a bill that I might not even pay if I don't have the other, you know, income. So I might have to wind up finding somewhere else to go or I might only have Facebook. And this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. And don't send me to Facebook jail again because I might not even have anywhere to go if uh, X go into a paywall. And mind you, I still have the bird. Yeah. Okay, so key fact. Uh, Musk, who made the statement during a live statement uh, con- for conversation with Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, X will come out with a lower tier of pricing of a small amount of money that all users would have to pay in addition to the premium services X Blue. Uh, he said, creating such a system is the, uh, is the only way I can think of to combat uh, vast army the bots. Uh, Musk explained that the bots cost a fraction of a penny, uh, but to use as a user had to pay a few dollars or some some minor amount. It would use to the uh, the effective cost of creating a large amount of bots very high. Uh, he also said, yeah, he also said that uh, all L- AI, the AI bots, the AI, the bots used now is getting uh, better at passing CAPSCA test uh, meant in to the test bots than humans. Uh, he com- his comments were in response to Netanyahu's Net- 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 uh, statement that a way to curb um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say the word because I can't pronounce it. But on X might be to prevent the user of bots on the platform. So, but anyway, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you see the story.